Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today here talking about a market update. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters. Thank you so much for watching my video blog. Today I'm talking about what our current market is doing. They actually, the National Association of Realtors just released a study that they were doing and they found that we're in our fifth straight decline in pending home sales for the last five months. So that's actually some very big news that uh, we are seeing in a little bit of a shift in today's market. So this is important to know because everybody's been so used to a very hot market here in Southern California. Part of that shift in the market has been really because that wages have not kept pace with the housing prices. Year to date, we've had about a 5% increase in prices, but people haven't seen that kind of price increase in their paychecks. Over the last year before that, uh, in the previous year, it was almost a 10% increase. So certainly most people were not getting 10% increases in their paychecks. And with affordability being so low and prices being high and rising interest rate environment, buyers are being tapped out of the market and it's eliminating some of those potential buyers for homes. And they're just uh, giving up, frankly, and moving into apartments or rental houses and things like that instead. So, in fact, the pending sales year over year dropped 20% from last year. They went from 22,000 down to 17,737 in our local market. Closings year over year have dropped 17%. In fact, the month supply of inventory since the beginning of this year has gone from two month supply into a three month supply. So it's been increasing slowly uh, since the beginning of this year. And I'm consistently seeing more and more price reductions on a regular basis where sellers are pricing a little bit higher and then when they're not getting the response that they had hoped for are having to reduce the price in order to get the buyers attentions that are out there. The active inventory this year has increased almost 30 percent from previous years and from it went from 44,000 in December up to 61,562 and with that prices have been flattening. Now, what to do in this kind of environment? Now, because we're really just seeing a start of a shift, if you're someone who's holding on to some investment property or a property that you were thinking about selling at some point in the near future, it may be time to look at doing that now uh, before anything starts to shift further. Uh, we also don't see a huge panic of selling or anything like that at this point, but sellers are definitely going to have to be more accommodating. In the past, we could get an offer on a home and there would be no contingencies and it would be cash and you know it would be very little and a lot that the seller could demand and the very little that the buyer could demand. But now we're coming into more of a balanced market where buyers can actually get more requests, they can ask for some repairs, and they, they might back away from a property if they feel it has too many repairs. And buyers, I don't necessarily advise you to hold off because unless you're paying cash for a home, with rising interest rates, even if prices drop a little bit, you may still end up paying more than you would have locking in a lower interest rate. So if you have any questions about this or if you want to talk about your specific situation, please feel free to give me a call at 562-316-2915 or email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.